Released a couple years ago, the Heavy Saurus app is a game originally released for Android and iOS devices, though as of lately the game is only available on Android since support for 32-bit apps ended some time back on iOS, and the developer, Numia, clearly won't be updating the app to 64-bit anytime soon. The app is a 3D runner type game with a small puzzle side game. You play as one of the five members of the band collecting golden notes on the way to the stage end, jumping over pits and avoiding enemies as you go. The reward being is that you listen to heavy Sora songs at the end of the stage. The most interesting thing about this app is that the music included is all in English, even in Finland, and even the voices for the band members are all in English, with entirely different names apart from Mr. Heavysaurus. Hey! I'm Mr. Heavysaurus! Let's go on an adventure together! Hi! My name is Bass Bammer! You better shape up, cause we got some work to do! Oh! I'm so happy I get to collect golden notes for you! Biffmaster Crunch at your service! Time to lead the way! Dude, it's Beatbuster here! Let's get this game going! Millie Pilly doesn't name herself in the app, but the names line up with those used in the Swedish band. The game itself has some love and care about it, but honestly, it's not good at all. The models have all varied levels of quality. Muffy Puffy looks great, but Heavy Heavy Soros looks very small and chibi-like. The level designs themselves are just about passable. The only one which has the most detail in it is Riffy Raffy's stage in the Catacombs, which is a prime example of the multitude of problems this game has. The game relies on you jumping to cover gaps. The majority of the stages are fairly forgiving with the physics engine, but the Catacomb level has one particular bit which is a lesson in frustration. This is because this level has some fairly long gaps, which requires a vault jump, in other words a double jump, but these gaps are at the absolute maximum distance you can jump, meaning this particular section is near impossible without perfect timing. I found that you just about have to fall off, then jump, then again to make the gap, any earlier or later, and you'll just fall repeatedly. Remember, this is supposed to be for kids. Upon passing the stage, you get the band performing a clip from a song. You get Catacomb Zombie, Jurassic Metal Heads Lizard Disco Boogala Boogala And for the last stage, you get Jurassic Metalheads. Again. Yep, for the five stages, they only have four songs. This was either a programming error or they only had four songs. The first time we see Jurassic Metalheads, the animation ends a few moments before the song does, so I think another song was supposed to be in this position. Despite my best efforts, I've not been able to examine the files to get any information out of them. If another song exists in those files, it's far beyond my reach. Overall, the game is okay, but it's honestly lacking in so many areas. If this had a lot more polish put to it, it wouldn't be so bad. This cost me around £2 when I got it. There is a free version, but it's only the first level, so if you really want to check it out, then you can still find it on the Google App Store. 
As for other apps available, there was a storybook one on the Apple App Store, but thanks to the 64-bit requirements that they imposed, all the apps need to be updated, and so this will probably never come back. With the German band now arriving, I'm sure that they'll push the app to them, or at least make a new one, but I'll keep a lookout for this. Anyways, until next time, this is Kraken, signing out. <laughs>